Hello everyone, Tac1421 here. Welcome back to a, another Minecraft Hunger Games gameplay commentary. This is a game that I played about, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. And didn't really feel like uh, i just doing a video on it, but still save the recording. Because I thought it was a pretty fun game. And I was playing as Kangaroo, one of my favorite kits still. Just because I think it gives you a great opportunity to get out of a lot of situations. And... Do stuff that a lot of people aren't able to do, which is the whole point of a bunch of kits, is to do things that people can't do unless they have the kit. So Kangaroo is a pretty cool kit, I think, and it's turned out to be one of my favorites just because of the ability to get away from certain situations and just overall survive. And survival was a huge, huge thing in this game. I mean, obviously, you want to survive every single game, but... Uh, you'll see in this game it was it was like I, I took matters very very carefully just because I got down to low HP at the very beginning of the game and I just had to do things more carefully and couldn't really take particular risks that I would have wanted to and it was just it was a fun little game so I hope you enjoy uh, but today I wanted to talk about how MC PvP in my mind could get back on track with things that and, and the way they used to be and continue to grow an audience if they wanted to grow an audience and i guess just steps they would need to take uh for the community and on their site and stuff like that uh so i'm not going to talk about necessarily like i guess attitudes or uh ways of running their site or how, how to handle how, how to handle different people like how to handle YouTubers that help them out or handle, I, I don't know, stuff like that. But like people like myself and like Amp and other people like that, how to, how to I guess, get them back into the thing and, and be appreciative of what they've done. I'm not asking that because I know that's kind of out of the question uh, and I don't really care about that per se. But what I what I do think they should do is, is certain game modes, they should definitely really... I change change things up and the first thing I think they should do is they should have this normal Hunger Games hardcore games whatever they call it now a game mode where they have all the soups and stuff like that just the normal game mode that I'm playing right now but I think they should have another game mode that is pretty much the same thing that there's just no there's no soup and I think this would really change dramatically how people play the game and it would really even up the field tremendously and now I don't know if they have a game mode like this already um, but I feel like it would be a really key thing for them to do because if you look at how much I guess soups impact the game is, is really crazy and when I first started playing the game not a lot of people knew how to hotkey and really the, the playing field was even now you could still use your tactics uh, you're, you're like I guess you're your fighting tactics was really based on, uh, I guess, gaining the upper hand on your opponent, really understanding when to go in, when not to go in, uh, using your environment to your advantage in whatever way you can, using your your uh, the items you have on you as well as your kit to the advantage that you have. But now it's really how good are you at PvP. And it doesn't really matter what other tactics you want to use, whatever it boils down to is just how good you are at hotkeying and I really don't like that I know a lot of people really get turned away such as my such as myself get turned away on the whole hotkeying thing they don't want to learn how to they don't want to practice it's not worth it it's not worth the time uh, to go back and, and just learn how to hotkey um, especially in just it, it's just really tough and I think if they had a game mode where there was no soups, there was no hot keen at all, you just had to rely on just basic Minecraft healing where you eat like bread, where I mean now, or any kind of just animal or whatever, you know, any, any kind of food item that, that you would normally heal you up, that's how you heal up and you just have to wait for your, your hunger, your uh, health to come to regen back. Now, I think that, that would just make things a lot better and I think that would be a really cool game. I think a lot of people would really like this game mode and would I think MCPP would see a boost in uh, people playing their game again and they might be able to get back on the right track and I, I think that's what they need to do 
So that's just my thoughts on that. I think if they did have that kind of game mode, uh, they could call it like No Soup for You or something creative like that. I don't want to you know, name it for them, but they could just call it Hardcore Games Without Regen or whatever. Uh, but it's just, it's just, it it really changes how people play the game, and I know a lot of people get turned off and don't want to play, don't want to learn how to hotkey, and they just rather play other games because it's just not worth it. And I think, you know, people would really enjoy playing if if there was the uh, old kind of way of how MCPVP used to be played, which is just, you know, you have to uh, figure out what kind of style you, you want to play. Um, as if you want to like make a trap or if you want to just run around trying to get kills but right now as, as the game stands it doesn't matter really what kind of style you want to play uh, people that have the ability to hotkey and are good at hotkeying will always have the upper hand no matter what the situation is and it really doesn't matter what kit they have either it's just it really just matters if you know how to hotkey and how good you are at hotkeying and if you are able to get the soups or not so now when I play, I don't really even bother hotkeying because and it, I don't even like try to because I know other people are better than me at hotkeying. Um, so I just have to rely on other methods of trying to win, which in the long run is usually not going to work, <laughs> which is really kind of boiled down to myself and other people really quitting MC PVP and, and kind of going away from it and not really playing it too often. I play it every once in a while. But really, I'm never going to enjoy it the, the way I used to, unless, of course, they do make this new game mode. So, you know, let them know your thoughts if you agree with me. I know a lot of you may agree with me. I know a lot of you may disagree with me. But no matter the case, I think uh, there should be a change in how things work. Now, I'm going to go to the gameplay real quickly here because I think this was a really, really funny moment in the game. And you'll see here, I have the kangaroo kit, and I kind of under, uh, underestimated how far I can jump, or how, I guess, not how far I can jump, how little I can jump. And I thought I could make it up to his tower, and it turned out that I couldn't. <laughs> and I thought it was just, just really hilarious, and I'm not sure how Optic Royal died here. I, was, I wasn't planning on killing him, I was really wanted to get up to his tower, and hopefully the two of us could have help each other to kill that other guy. But nonetheless, he dies from falling too far. And I almost died, but luckily I had some armor on, so it didn't really matter. Uh, my fall was reduced. But nonetheless, I couldn't run far enough. I couldn't <laughs> get away from the person chasing me. He got a huge advantage from the feast, and I just couldn't really do much. So Because he knew how to hotkey, and I didn't. And that's kind of what it boiled down to. So anyways, I do hope you enjoy this gameplay. If you guys want to... I'll leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated, and I'll see everyone next time. Peace.